Hey guys, it's Bang for Buck PC Gamer here. I'm just going to show you some more Ark Survival Evolved gameplay. Now, I've been working on this base for a very, very long time and I finally completed it, well, at least 90% of it anyway. And I just want to show it off to you guys because I think it's quite the upgrade from my first base. So, in terms of location, I've chosen to build near the water like most people so you get good access to um, a clean water supply. Not only that, you get to make a water base as well if you need one. So outside I have my Giganotosaurus, pretty much handling security, nothing really gonna get through him. So nothing to worry there. So I do have a few posts um, laid out so I can have uh, basically decoration for any artifacts I find. Currently got four posted up, but you do need to tribute them for boss fights. So sometimes I have them up, sometimes I don't. So for the building itself, um, I've chosen to give it quite a lot of natural light by having massive windows and it just adds to the aesthetic of the build as well. I've got all my wyverns at the top of the base, I'll show you those in more detail in a moment. And I've also got my flags which signify which bosses I've killed, the green ones for the broodmother and the blue ones for the megapithecus. So still got one more boss to fight but I'll get around to that eventually. So going into the main hall. Very, very big open plan. Now, one of the best features I like of this base is if you look straight through the ceiling, you can see straight through the top. So I've made a glass ceiling in both levels. So you can see straight through the building. Big enough for a T-Rex in the main hall. So I got no problems bringing in big dinos. Here are my main breeding dinos. These are what do my Battle Rex bloodline. So I can't really lose, you lose those at any point because that would set me back quite a bit. I'm not going to go through naming all of the dinos because I don't know all their names off by heart but this is basically a mammoth which I use for um, harvesting rare flowers from a swamp area and also carrying wood. Now moving into the separate room to the side I have a smith bench, a fabricator and a uni um, what's it called a universal grill I think it's called. So basically this is the area I do most of my cooking and crafting. Also keep my beaver and my dodicarus here. These guys are essential for building in this game. This one does the stone and obviously does the wood for the beaver. Here are some of my trophies from the Megapithecus and the Broodmother. Hopefully I'll add the dragon if I ever get around to beating it. And here's the master bedroom. Nothing special here, I've got um, a few storage cabinets and a bookshelf and a bed. Um, one cool feature I added is just to put a massive window here which makes you look through into my greenhouse which you can see there which is pretty cool. Okay moving on. I'm gonna go up to the second level now. With all the big windows, it does let in quite a lot of light. So you don't, I don't need to have the lights on at all times. So I can look straight through as well into my outbuilding and my garden. So I've got a lot of dinos up here as well. I'm not going to bother naming all of them because I don't know them off by heart. So here's my Quetzal. And uh, I've got my Scorpion and my uh, Frog. These are useful for, well the Frog is useful for the Swamp Cave. So I'm not too greedy with the dinosaurs. I mean, most of the dinos I have are generally because I need them. This is the Yaturanus, very good for buffing your T-Rexes in, in a boss fight, which I've showed previously. And just a few other dinos, I've got a uh, Olosaurus here. Wolves, which I use for cave um, hunting, these are really good for caves. Uh, the Saber Cat's okay for the caves, he's a little bit short, but he still does a good job because he has armor. So he's very, very durable. Okay, so I'm going to go to the roof and show you my uh, wyverns, but I'll, I think I'll take you there by by air. It'll look a little bit better. Better. I'm close the main door. Let me just show you my greenhouse first. So I've got a full-size greenhouse. I can grow, I think, about five or six crops at once. I've got some corn here, some oranges, some berries, some potatoes, 
and some more berries so yeah quite a massive greenhouse fully irrigated also got this dung beetle here he's responsible for making all the fertilizer makes use of all the dino droppings that you see around okay I've got another Quetzal here he's responsible for doing transports because he can transport my Rexes to the, the red obelisk when I need to fight bosses so very very useful let's get on my Argentibus here and I'll show you my Wyverns in better detail so the blue one is the lightning wyvern the green one here is my poison wyvern the red one's obviously the fire and the one at the end here is actually an ice wyvern probably the rarest out of the four and I've got the complete set the only one I need now is the rock drake from aberration which I'll get sometime next week okay moving on I'll quickly show you my outbuild in here so still in the process of walling off this area but I'll eventually get around to doing that all. So I've made a bridge here which takes me to my outbuilding. This is where I store a few more dinosaurs and I also have what we like to call a hatchery. So you need a room dedicated for hatching eggs. So here as you can see I've got a T-Rex fertilized egg getting incubated now. I quickly put on the hard so you can see how much percentage is left so this currently has 41% left to incubate once that timer goes down in two hours time a baby t-rex will hatch I might even do a video showing you that process if you're interested just let me know in the comment section so this has a total of I think 13 or 12 air conditioning units which pretty much hatch anything even wyvern so that's pretty much all you need and I'm going to add maybe one or two more fridges in but generally I'm going to use this area to store a few more dinosaurs when I need to I'll just go down and show you the storage compartment at the bottom so this is where I'm going to store my battle rexes I don't want to keep them in the main base because they really are only for one purpose so I've got three of them in here at the moment and I'll be adding more as I go along these do take quite a while to raise so they are very very important if you want to beat the bosses I'll also show you a small water base I've got here I keep my uh, Spinosaurus here I do have a Megalosaurus as well Megalodon sorry but he's currently in an underwater cave where I like to keep him so I'm going to be expanding this as and when I get more dinos but for now I haven't really got much water dino so there's not much need. I'm going to take you to the roof now. So that is a look at my base guys, hopefully you have enjoyed the video.